so in the <coughs> last session uh, what we discussed is uh, again this is again how to call an apex in the apex how are we writing the queries and then fetching the data right so based on that data whether we are showing uh, uh, you know success uh, show toast message or error, error show toast message right so today what we are going to do we are going to navigate to once it is success we are going to navigate to next page okay so we are going to navigate to another page so by using a navigate function in the lightning component library generally lightning component library has everything you don't need to write any code you can copy paste from here right show toast code we are copied from here so button code if you want button code so here button you see lightning web components and now we are discussing about lightning ara components right in the ara components button if you want you can copy code here and then paste it in your code like you know so here anywhere in the component wherever you want if you want here you can copy paste here okay so just like that anything you can copy paste not only button code if you want inputs also input uh, if you want a date to be entered like this you can copy this date code first code okay so this is basically due and header header is something basic inputs next to that you see light, uh, lightning input lightning input type date input one input two input two label enter a date like you see you see label label is this one enter a date wherever this label is there copy that code this one is a enter a date code okay <coughs> so different types of dates are available you see uh, this is a simple plain date that we can select this is already predefined date already populated okay uh, this one is something like you know ISO A06 format different format and then here a um, placeholder this is placeholder type here you see type here when I when I type something that will disappear like you know different types of dates are there you can copy paste okay so generally what I'm saying is generally you write a R component you can copy paste the code that you want anything okay so what I'm going to do now yesterday we are log, uh, trying to log in here lightning cars <coughs> application in this application once you provide the username and password whenever you clicking on sign in it says that login success or login fail based on the data that you are giving right so let's say <coughs> today I'm going to what I'm going to do once I sign in properly I wanted to go to another page where I need to see a different customer details okay so different customer details I wanted to show here okay so for that what I can do I will use navigate so in ARA as well as uh, I think in LWC it is not there in ARA you see navigate home navigate to component navigate to list navigate to home these are all our navigate functions so we can use any of this uh, as per our requirement okay so for me I wanted to have a, another component separate lightning component somebody sign in I wanted to go to another component so I can use this navigate to component so this is a piece of code we can use this is a function inside of this this is a code if we use this code what will happen you are going to navigate to particular component okay here this is a component name you are going to navigate to particular component okay and then that component is going to display the output so for example I am going to create a new lightning component <coughs> lightning component the component name is um, customers data okay so customers data is available here this is a, just a plain component let's say I'm building lightning card here 
here is the customer data so this is a new component that I'm building when I click on here this is actual uh, this component I guess this is the component right uh, cars app login when I click on sign in and then sign in me this button to sign in whenever I click I, I'm giving a proper data username and password then I wanted to go to this component in this component as of now here is the customers data available so that is a just a text so you need to go to that page means from one component to another component you can navigate using this code I'm going to write this code if my results yesterday my results was success okay my results was success I'm showing you uh, uh, like you know a success message right that you know login success after that what I wanted to do I wanted to navigate to another component the component name is this one new lightning component we created right this is a lightning component name customers data so I wanted to navigate to this component C colon and then navigate this data okay and I don't have any customer at uh, sorry component attributes I don't have any attributes I can remove this now you see this is a particular event navigate to component is an event just like show toast is an event basically this is an event okay uh, that is firing the event whenever it fired then it will show in a message so similarly this is also an event force e dot force navigate to component is an event by using this if you specify a as a component definition as a component name then automatically it will navigate from one page to another page okay let us try that okay <clears throat> so I'm having uh, this page here cars home page so let's say some of the agent wants to access this cars home page where they wanted to log in first by uh, giving their username password and once they provide the username password they wanted to see different customer details before doing uh, seeing the customer details they need a username password right so what we are going to do now uh, yesterday I think I have given like this Shiva Shiva at the rate of one two three is my username and password when I sign in you see login success and you see today I came to another page here this is a different page okay that uh, if I provide a uh, maybe error I mean another details maybe I will not see like you see for example I'm providing wrong details I see I'm not moving to another page if I provide a correct details you see now success login success and we are we we landed to another page this is not a same component that we built this is another component okay so in this page now what we can build is we can generally have a data can be displayed okay customer details so they can see the customer details they can create a building or they can uh, they can utilize this car uh, this customer details and then call the customer that you know you purchase this car or you wanted to purchase any car that you have shown a interest something like that we can you know display the data over here okay so now what are we going to do today we just we just uh, completed one concept which is how to navigate from one component to another component okay so we have used something called navigate to home uh, navigate to component event this is something called standard event navigate to component is event just like that you have navigate to home also available uh, this is a deprecated that means it's not available uh, it, it is there in the list but it is deprecated deprecated means it's a deleted so this is not available right now navigate to list let us see 
navigate to list is available if you wanted to navigate from one list view to another list view or from whenever I click sign in I wanted to see accounts list view here contacts list view you know right what is list view can anybody tell me what is list view and where can I see the list view can anybody tell me what is a list view and where can I see the list view very where it is home page uh? Uh, you mean to say here app launcher Lona app launcher Lona no I will not say in the home page Ekada. Ekadante? Uh, app launcher Lona I don't see here um, in the list view no list view I don't have any list views here one application open jadam Angok application open jadam lightning cars and a new lightning cars and a let us open the lightning cars in the like a choose some either plus a cut plus a cut a record create jadam cost on the cut this we can create a records by using this plus icon we can create a new record here new records everything is new record it's not a list view list view is something whenever we create we click on an object in the object you can see list view you see here Delhi location Delhi location cars if you wanted to filter the data in the object and see you can create a list views you can see here the list view controls you can create a new list view you can edit the list view rename list view all these are there right these are actually list views so similarly any any object by default recently viewed is a list view all is a list view these are the two list views by default will be there each and every object if you open the customers you see recently viewed is an by default uh, um, you know list view similarly all is in list view if you wanted to create your own list view you come here create a new list view and then you can put uh, for example um, something uh, customer uh, one second so for example you wanted to see um, age for example you wanted to see the in any customers who is having age is uh, between 35 to 40 or 30 to 40 okay you can create in here you, you wanted to see just like in recently view and as well as all list view you wanted to see one more list view here uh, 30 to 40 aged customers okay so you can create a new list view for example 30 something okay for example you wanted to first target these customers 32 whoever is a 32 40 maybe then they are having a needs of cars right maybe you wanted to first see their details then you can add a filters over here put a age filter age greater than 30 first of all let's put a 30 and see how many records are there there is no records available okay as of now there is no records you can add a fields or customer name is available right here so you can have a here multiple fields you can select age data path mobile number something like this address so as of now no records if you if you you see now here 30 to 40 age customers is an option coming all and then recently was there earlier now 30 to 40 age customers also one of the list view so if in case any time you changed the customer details for example let's say you changed the date of birth let's say I changed to um, 1980 okay now this customer falls into the 30 to 40 age okay so now if you go to customers again and open this 30 to 40 
you will see one record age is 41 basically i just kept a um, uh, you know filter as age greater than 30 if you want only to only in between 30 to 40 what you can do edit the filters here the filter option is available edit this show filters and then edit one more add one more filter age less than less than 40 so I have added two conditions one is age is greater than 30 and the age is less than 40 means these two conditions should be satisfied any record that should be greater than 30 at least and then it should be 40 now you may you may not see that record again because the age is 41 so I will just change this to some other date so based on the date age is calculating right so for example I'm having um, 80 right uh, let's say 88 now this record falls into the 30 to 40 age group then whenever I go here customer tab again and then 30 to 40 if I click you see now age is 33 right so like this we can have a multiple list views so in our application so here is our application once you logged in you wanted to go to this home page this sorry this list view use this list view navigate to list just like that particular object you wanted to go to particular, particular object you wanted to go to um, you know custom object uh, for example once you open this uh, login this you wanted to go to customers page okay then you can navigate this let us try this so I was navigating to the another component right so let me co comment out this I don't want it to go to uh, to the component let's say I wanted to go to this page uh, I'm using this piece of code which is navigate to home and then here generally object home basically this is an object home that means you can go to the object home page you can provide a um, C and then underscore underscore object name which is a customer object second we recommend to use lightning navigate component with okay so let us try and see So it is navigating, but by default, some of one of the um, there is an okay. I think that's why they are asking to use a um, lightning navigate function instead of home page lightning navigate. Okay, so however, um, let me see navigate an object home set the object name on the scope and the file even the example display the home page of the customer and they should have given okay <clears throat> basically this is navigate them to home page another page you see it is going it is trying to navigate but it says that uh, whatever you are seeing is not supported in the lightning experience so instead of that you can utilize <clears throat> lightning navigation component instead of this lightning navigate to home instead of that you can use lightning navigation they are saying however uh, let us uh, continue with our concept which is I wanted to navigate to another component similarly we can use this any of the function also to navigate to a subject navigate to particular URL we can use here I'm today I'm navigating to uh, a component okay I'm navigating to the particular component here which is a customer's data component I have already created a customer component data over here okay now we will navigate to the another page uh, another component basically you see so 
and I think it is not yet refreshed. I think it is not yet uh, refreshed. Let me go to another application and then come back. So let me go back to our application again. So now I am here into the customer data home page. So <coughs> In this page, I wanted to display list of customers as a table. Okay. In the next page, I wanted to display the list of new records. Okay. So to do that, uh, I mean not to create, to display already customers are available in the backend object. I wanted to display list of customers today. Okay. To display list of customers as a table, more than one record. So we have to utilize something called as data table okay lightning data table so this lightning data table is used to display the data in the form of a table so okay so you can see as an example in this here in the lightning component library you search for the table you see data table so this displays the data in the form of a table just like that um, uh, basically there are a large number of uh, fields that's why it is showing here like this opportunity name and then account name close the date confidence like in you know, all these fields are available we can display as a table okay so let us see like this basically you can have uh, like this okay so to do this basically you can have um, you see you can have a data table like this this is a data table okay so here what we can do we can have <coughs> a code related code here you see component code controller code okay so let me say I want a table like this then I can copy this code this is lightning data table this basically attributes and handlers are there we don't want we want lightning data table code so this is a code that I wanted to utilize to show the data in the customer data component okay so <clears throat> here what I'm going to do um, I wanted to utilize this code this is actual code uh, for data table to be displayed as a table format so it will have data table will have a key field data and columns and then hide these are the different uh, data table attributes okay uh, you know this is one attribute or a property we can say property or a attribute so data table requires a data requires a columns okay and then if you wanted to hide the uh, checkbox columns you need to use this first of all we will see the output how it comes the output or uh, we'll try to uh, put the different columns and we will discuss later also okay now what I need is I need to store, give the data to this uh, data table and then columns so to provide the data we need to store as an attribute so I'm already having attributes here okay uh, in in a data table uh, in a lightning component library the same attributes are there I can use so here I can write any name like by default they're giving a data and then columns right so this data is an attribute for this or a property columns is also a property if we give a list of records over here the data it will display as a data if you give a columns columns also going to be displayed so they are giving the same name data and columns I mean it will make you a confusion what I'm going to do customers data I can change
so this is a variable or this is an attribute that stores the data similarly customers columns is another attribute okay now I am having two attributes which is customers data and then customers columns if I provide a data to this then automatically it is going to display in the table format you see in the yesterday's example here uh, not this um, we have one more component right calculator component so let us open this component to understand something here so what is this what is this result can anybody tell what is this result what does it mean if I put a floor bracket and then V and what is this first of all uh, okay if you don't tell also this one no worries what is this attribute or it is a variable what it will do it stores the data if I enter something yes exactly so when I enter the data it's input right when I input something when I enter something in the front end the same value is going to store in this attribute this value is having number one as an attribute here declared number two also declared like that what is this result I am not giving any any input to the result I am not entering in the front end as a result but I am displaying the result if I click on submit uh, if I enter 20 and 30 it gives me a result as 50 how this is displaying so we are setting the value in the JavaScript here result is equals to number one plus number two like you have entered number one and number two and then output is coming something like you know 30 40 whatever we are doing addition right so <coughs> we are using similar expression v dot result <coughs> or v dot number one or v dot number two exclamatory v dot so this is something any variable if you give okay any variable number one number two or anything what it will do it will it is basically an attribute okay this is a this is something called as a bound expression bound expression are a bound variable we can say so what it will do it will bind the data if you are using input then whatever you enter is going to store here or if you, this is something to store the value you can utilize the same thing to display the value also but here if you don't put any input then it will displays if you don't put input just just displays like this for example output I'm just writing output colon and then like this I'm not input anything here I'm setting the value here I'm not setting I'm just entering that means it's basically kind of a setting data from the front end this is setting the data in the JavaScript you see here I am setting the value component dot set I'm setting the value to result and then I'm not showing showing as input here just just displays like this I can display like this also the result so that means in the front end it will display the result and then output if you if you are using as an input the same expression bound expression or an attribute you will be you know entering the data and then storing into it if using like this that means you are setting the data in the JavaScript and displaying it somewhere okay similarly here in our component today also we are using here just like output we are not giving any input here we are just doing it an output if you have any input like this input uh, input uh, lightning input then value something customer data that means you are providing a data to this attribute but today you are not providing you are going to set 
in the JavaScript that is used for the output purpose means if you don't have any inputs here that means you need to set the data in JavaScript whatever the JavaScript value you are setting there is going to display okay if you are setting something uh, if you can utilize like this also customers data okay it will display the data but you want in a table format you can use this lightning table data table and then where data is equals to this data that you are setting in the JavaScript columns is equals to columns that you are setting in the JavaScript now these two attributes are going to store the data from the JavaScript okay so go to JavaScript file now this controller.js in the JavaScript you need to specify what are the columns you need to display and what is the data you need to display so <coughs> this piece of code is also available here here okay so so you see this large number of code don't confuse with this code okay we'll just I will just explain each and everything so what I'm doing here I'm going to <coughs> set the columns customer columns like this customer columns is equals to this is a sample code given in the lightning component in the component library for for columns like you know opportunity name and then account name they are giving here opportunity name you see opportunity name and then account name right so similarly what we are going to do now for our purpose we are going to write a customer name and then customer mobile number only let's display only two fields only two fields so <coughs> if you wanted to display data in a table format okay you need to first define a columns like this and then you need to use a object api names over here so what object you want customer object go to customer object the fields api names you need to define over here you want name and then you want mobile number right go to fields and relationships you see the name is by default field so i can utilize a name and then type is text and then here I want to display the mobile so mobile is a custom field and then this is a API name you need to provide a API name as a field name and then type as phone or a text phone also you can utilize now <coughs> you can see inside a bracket I want two columns to be displayed one is name and then one is mobile number this label we need to use comma field name and then comma type you need to define now now let us uh, let us refresh our output and then see which I just what I just constructed just now is a table with the customer data and then customer column attributes this is used to store the data this is used to display the columns so now I'm going to use this columns here component dot set component dot set v dot v component dot set uh, remember last time we used component dot set v dot result is equals to number one comma number two our output is equals number one plus number two we are using right that combines both of the results and providing here also component dot set columns is equals to these many number of columns so if suppose I don't use so for example n1 plus n2 how you how I'm using earlier like this we can use now what is what it is going to store for example number one number to both it will combines and gives as a result right here result similarly I am using here component that set this columns is equals to this whole columns okay so this is something called as array now this is array inside these two are the objects I'll 
I will explain this little bit more okay if you want I'll explain this little bit more also uh, one sec yes 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 <coughs> No, no. <clears throat> so here object and data type we need to specify. So in the attribute we need to specify the Apex data types. Uh, you see here text, uh, sorry string and then boolean. These are the Apex data types. These are kind of a variables in the Apex. So while this while using a columns you need to specify the object types text, email, uh, text area, um, the, and then checkbox like that. Okay. Yeah, good question. So let us go here. Refresh. Um, it's supposed to display columns here. Let me check. Label field name type. try this as text so we supposed to see here uh, this bar is the right little bit bar it is showing here now it will show a customer name and then customer mobile two columns it has to display let us refresh and try again what is wrong here columns customer columns list let me make this as list as well customer columns customer col okay mm, okay I got the issue now <coughs> whatever we are displaying where are we writing this inside some function so you see any JavaScript any JavaScript this JavaScript when this this code is firing when this code is firing or when this code is firing means when it is actually firing is something whenever you click on a button if you click on a sign in this piece of code will work if you click on a sign up this piece of code work when you click on a submit you filled everything and then you, you wanted to submit this data to database you clicking on submit you wanted to check the con uh, sign in then sign in button you are clicking right so each and every code that you are writing is associated to any buttons in the UI right you click on sign in or sign up or you see sign in me okay and then register okay based on these buttons this JavaScript is executing isn't it now we have written a code it's not associated to any I have written inside a method I have not associated to any method this when it is going to fire there is no button here there is no button here in the data table how it is going to display it won't display so that's why it is trying to display the data when it is loading the component but the JavaScript is not yet loaded in the JavaScript we are setting the columns data so once the columns are available then this data table displays the columns but actually the JavaScript code is not executing at all because it's not associated to any of the actions so this piece of code has to load also whenever you wanted to load this or whenever you wanted to load this page automatically the JavaScript code you wanted to execute particular action particular function then uh, generally we know as a button click we can click a button here lightning button so for example I'm just clicking label just a click and then on click why are we writing on click here why why am why am uh, to do action right yes to do the action like you know when I click something I wanted to perform then I need to write on click 
so I can write a uh, call function also anything I can write here right so do I need to write a call function only or anything I need to write here can I write xxx can I write or not no why xx xyz same name to javascript lo mana define chesi undali javascript lo function rasi undali ante okay so mana ikkada emaina raichu it's no need to be do action it no need to be do function or something okay it can be anything by default we can write a do action or handle handle click anything we can write but there should not be any space this is a name of the function in the javascript or name of the method in the javascript the same method name you need to define here that's it okay you can write anything here right so today i'm just trying with a click button click okay just uh, when i load my component this component i'm going to display a button here click now you see customer name mobile number is coming how it is coming when I click now how this two coming earlier why is not coming can you can anybody tell me sorry can you come again where is LS2 this two is not at all related now then I example in a and it la then a page can move I know sorry it's a component kick to coach on like using this code using this code uh, where is that using this code navigate navigate to component and look event to then use just couldn't in a component to navigate I know either with and got me to navigate code laga income here I'm gonna try to uh, navigate Navigate to home and try yes and we navigate to uh, sorry navigate to component try yes and other everything we navigate home gunny eleven test object gunny then to navigate functions and I could navigate tags and I but you need lightning navigation and I don't need the use change on Jephthah nor allo you learn to then use change to name name navigate chase and no and take Okay, component in chinko ka component can navigate I know are they within a mirror list to use key move our watch and Japanese example Japan and they actually man on a code use chale this is an okay no I put in component coach on a component of data table display yes no no can in in first time data table display just not gonna go customer name can a customer mobile number can a rally do can you put a button click chase a host on the how Yes, basically, uh, whenever you refresh, you see generally whenever you first time you are loading, nothing is coming because we are setting the columns here, data table columns value in the JavaScript. That means whenever this JavaScript executes, then only the output is going to load it. So it could load out then a component in the on a code. And the execute I take columns and it is set out that the data and I could set out that the columns and I put the data and I actually code a lay than a condi if the code would not be the execute of the load in a photo in the content on move on load low a page load in a play a javascript run now on a crumb on a specify chill at the company no make work just a hint a mission on a day look a button click chess no photo a javascript on a fire chest to know a pretty javascript fire out of the up to a customer columns key data and it is set out of the operator set time up to a columns display out and I could have two columns name and mobile number and a so what we can do instead of click also we can have the event instead of doing a button click if you want as soon as you log into this page as soon as page loads you wanted to see this output you don't want to click then you can use our handler name and then you can have a value and then action so this is actually a handler it will have a init event 
and value as this keyboard and then action is equals to particular JavaScript action now what will happen <coughs> like otherwise do unload I can write do unload function name so now what will happen as soon as I logged in this component is going to load as soon as this loaded data table is going to load before that handler is also going to load handler is something to handle the a event the event called init event whenever page loads itself the event is going to load there is a event called init event by default any page lightning component loaded any any lightning component loaded there will be init event so this is something called as event so whenever page loads you wanted to do actions then you can utilize this name event handler and then particular action you wanted to perform the action means any JavaScript code you wanted to execute then you can utilize like this handler and then action as an init event so this will as soon as page loads this will calls this function inside of this function we are setting the columns data okay now as you are setting the columns data the data the component is going to load it with the columns this data is going to come here as soon as the data coming data load is also going to load okay so earlier I was just having a button here so somebody clicks on a button the columns will display but now I don't need to click as page loads this event is going to fire the JavaScript is going to fire now you see when I will not have a button click as an as soon as page refreshes our page loads automatically the column names is going to come here you see customer name and then customer mobile number similarly you want any other field in the customer for example email also you can put here comma similarly to this copy this and then paste here and then change the label customer email so here you can use a text or email data type okay network can you hear me So basically there was an internet problem so I'm just copying my code and then pasting it again here. So what I have added now is just one more column I have added. Similar to mobile, similar to the name, I'm added one more column which displays the which displays the columns over here so you see name mobile number email so now you got you got the columns only but not the data to display the data you need to fetch the data from the database what is our database can you anybody tell me what is our database I wanted to fetch the customer details from where I can from where I can get this customer details Can anybody tell me what is our database basically? What does mean by database in our Salesforce? Hmm? What are we using to store the data? <coughs> what is our database? So objects represents our database, right? We have discussed in the first introduction section, objects is a database for us. <coughs> We don't have any separate database. Objects itself is a database for us. Multiple objects and each relationships, one object to another object having a relationship 
right so that represents the database actually so anytime database in the salesforce means object now i wanted to fetch the data from the database means you need to fetch the data from the object can anybody tell me how to how to call apex now i as soon as page loads i wanted to call apex can anybody tell me or uh, first of all you want to understand little bit more on this then let us try basically what we can do little bit you know more simplified way i will tell if you feel it little, little bit difficult we can display we can declare one variable something like this columns is equals to like this so forget about this if you feel very much difficult i'm just trying to declare one array this is array in the javascript anything you declare like this this is an array so for example you wanted to store first name in javascript in javascript you wanted to store the first name you can write like this you wanted to store age this is in the javascript how to store in the apex how to store in the apex this is in javascript how to store in the apex string first name is equal to the array okay and then integer age is equals to 30 okay so how to store in the object how to store i wanted to store the name as first name and then age how to store it can anybody tell me yes text field we need to create as a text field and then number field i need to create as an age right this this is a first name is a field i need to create this is also a field i need to create right so in object we have different data types in the apex we have different data types in the javascript everything is in var you see i don't need to declare as a string here i need to declare as a integer or no need so in the javascript inside javascript you just need to put as a var so anything you wanted to store you need to just declare as a var but based on the data automatically it converts so i'm giving in a single code that means it's going to be a string okay i'm going to giving as this numbers um, this is going to be an integer in a back end similarly i wanted to store list of customers or list of columns i don't need to declare list of customers i don't need like this what i can do in the javascript i can have a var customers this if you declare this brackets it's an array so here i just declared an array what it will do i wanted to have column like this this is something called as an object now or this is an object basically for example i wanted to store instead of each and every variable if i were let's say my salary okay and address so now you see here <coughs> salary numbers integers and then let's say data but the data also okay so like this now you see multiple variables i declared so every all these variables you can declare as a one object by using this floor brackets inside i can display first name colon my name okay i don't need to specify any type here where i don't need to specify where automatically it is some variable and then age 
is something 20 okay and then salary I don't need a single quote also I can display display like this first name Varak okay and then age 30 or 20 address something like this okay so this is one record in a list in an array this is one record I want another user to be stored like this another just like me another employee I can have here you see if I want to store another user here another details I need to declare one more variable okay uh, let's say uh, first name of uh, let's say uh, Suresh Suresh first name Suresh age okay like that display here Suresh okay age salary like this right so instead of this I want to store generally more than one I can go for an array like this square brackets inside I can declare a brackets floor brackets inside of that multiple variables first name is a variable now age address like this like this as many as number of records you can display okay okay like this okay so you see this is a one object now the square brackets floor brackets whatever is there starting this is one object this is another object this is another object like that multiple object means it's not a custom object it's not a stand, uh, standard object also it's a JavaScript object in we can construct our object here and then provide a data similarly here also in the columns what we are doing here we are displaying label field name and then type these three are the variables label is the particular label field name is the API name and then type is also this so I can declare like this many okay like this I have already given here all these details I can utilize for our array one by one okay multiple columns I can declare like this okay so and this is an array which is having all these columns right now I have just having a JavaScript columns I can set these columns to our data table like this you see, this is simplified I mean earlier I, we can write everything this everything inside here but you'll feel little bit difficult now you can understand I guess okay so you we are displaying the first columns which needs a label field name and type we cannot change here first name we cannot change here age this because these are used for the data table columns if you want you can build your own object like this but generally this label is used for the data table field name and then type so whatever the syntax is that we need to use like this this generally I'm saying that just like a first name just like a age just like a address you can have a label of the column and then what is the API name what is the type okay and then we have a multiple columns the, those columns I'm using for the object columns here sorry uh, data table columns I'm utilizing as an attribute right now we are just displaying a column now next thing is we need to get the data from the object and show how can we get the data from the object yes component that get is a syntax but before that we need to have a class right apex class and the method we need to write then only we can call a apex and then call a object write a query and fetch the data right so first write a class one class so we are dealing with the customer side right? we can write a customers data controller so this is a class name I can put a class name anything so I'm just making this as customer data right instead of that customers controller I can put like this also any name okay I'm just keeping like this and then I need to have a method to get a query okay public 
static void uh, get data is a method and here I need to have R enabled is a method uh, to, to make call a, any method from the JavaScript or from the uh, lightning component you should have R enabled method right here I can query right now which object I want I want customer object right so customer object API name I need to use so to query I want all records so I can use a list like this I can write a name select ID name and then whatever the fields I want I want mobile number field and then email field mobile these fields from this object so anybody having question here in the query uh, anybody having question here how to write a query or anybody uh, I mean everybody is clear can I write here account can anybody tell me can I write here account can I write account here why account is object right exactly so we need to get the data from the customer so I can use here customer object can I write a customer data or XXX here no we should not write. Uh, like customer object. Customer object. This object is the identity variable. In that, this code then you pay over. Okay. Can anybody tell me? Can I write XXX or something else? Or do you have any question? We should not write here. We can write anything here it's an variable okay so generally this is a query last generally any query you wanted to write generally how to write a generally query means first starts with a square package select ID name or any fields you wanted to query name and for example age from customer this is a query actually to store this information you need to specify list of object name whatever the object you want to query in the account object then account you need to specify here list of account this is list now this is a query this will use the data and store it in a variable and then this is actually type if you, you wanted to get the accounts you need to specify account here you want to write a, you wanted to get the actually contacts then you need to write a contact here and as well here okay so this will says that what kind of data you wanted to store is it a contacts is it a accounts is it an opportunity or a customers right this ACC list is a variable you can put anything here it's no need to be ACC list right so we need to have a query okay we need to have a query like this okay and then this can be any variable anything anything I can write okay so I want this data to be displayed in the R component I need to return this data okay and then whenever you have a written statement you need to have, remove this void instead of void you need to put a same data type here you wanted to return a string you put a string here now you wanted to return list of customers so we need to provide here list of customers okay save this so can I put here void or can I put string what is this basically means this is a written type string is a written type Wide is nothing. Wide means nothing you're returning. You wanted to give back the customer objects details, then you need to specify the same data type here list of objects. Okay, you want to enter the, for example, you wanted to provide age back, 
then this should be integer because it's a number if you want to provide a back to the component as a uh, first name then it should be a string means there is a data type string data type integer data type list of record types right so whatever the data you wanted to return back to a component same object to data type like you know a customer's data is this data type list of customers so you need to specify here customers uh, list of customers also okay now we are getting the data here but we are not yet called to call this first of all we should have a controller here controller is equals to this controller so controller name you need to provide and then the way of calling apex is something like this yesterday we have called like this now i'm just copying this and then actually this is a piece of code this is a way we can call apex basically right this is a piece of code that we can use every time this is a syntax anytime you wanted to call apex this is a syntax this one where action component dot get and then this is the name of the uh, method so our method name is get data here I don't need any parameters to send username password I don't want anything I can remove this okay and then <clears throat> I will get the data by using response dot get return value function okay but whenever I get the data I wanted to store as a variable result now I, I got the result from the JavaScript but I need to assign this to a variable here our attribute which is a customer data okay so component dot get this result okay so here we have done this last time also you see here in this JavaScript code we are calling and then we are getting the written values and then storing in the result if result is true then we are showing a short host message right similarly I wanted to call an apex if my results are there okay this is same results I'm assigning to the data like if I'm getting the result as a customer list of records those records I'm going to display as a customer data now, now refresh this you will see automatically the number of records going to be displayed over here by default whenever I refresh or whenever I came to the first time on this page I am going to see the columns with the data um, this data is not coming let me check get return value syntax is correct or not get return value this is correct result component sorry component at set this should be component dot set we need to set the data to this attribute from the JavaScript so in the JavaScript how are we getting from the Apex class now refresh you will see the data so you see name mobile number email so still confusion there is no confusion because this Apex class we know how to call this is very three lines of code we are querying and returning the data right so whatever I written I'm getting here the get written values and storing as a variable that variable I'm assigning to the customers data attribute in the JavaScript that information will come here and then that is going to used for the lining data table so this high checkbox height checkbox columns we don't require actually if you remove also that's fine we will have three column three required parameters available key field we need to provide for the data table as an ID by default data and then columns you need to provide the data and columns mandatorily whatever the data you provide you provide the accounts it will display accounts you provide the contacts contacts now I am displaying the customers 
and then customer columns so to do that I need to have an attributes and then in the JavaScript I need to set the columns I need to get the data as well so if you want accounts you can have account name account phone number account email so here also you need to query for the accounts right can you guys try, try tomorrow uh, accounts and show me our accounts or contacts I wanted to see uh, somebody can present your screen and show me customer name like this account name and then account number and then account phone number or if you are trying with the contact two three fields display two three fields any object data opportunities um, or our patients or doctors any information okay so I need to have a login page like this okay when I provide the data here in the login page sign in then I am logging in successfully as soon as I log in I am seeing here customer details how this is happening in this Java in this code we are having our handler which will do the action as soon as page loads page loads JavaScript also loads JavaScript loads it will do an Apex call Apex call it will query and then it will give the data back to the JavaScript in the JavaScript we are storing and then displaying it in the UI okay so definitely you will be having a questions ask me tomorrow practice first what is this lightning data table what if I'm not giving this data what will happen if I declare as a list instead of that is can I declare anything you need to have a questions okay so let us discuss tomorrow so we are just uh, 